What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. OMG, woman goes off on her date after he refuses to pay for her meal. <laughs> Nuts. Crazy video. No more wasting time. Let's see what's going on here. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Pay for the goddamn food. Pay for the damn food. Pay for the fuck damn food. What would y'all do if I invited you out and they can't pay for the food? And you not gonna pay. What you mean? I'm trying to figure out how you even end up in a situation out on a date with this woman. <laughs> what is going on? He invited me out. You invited me out and you can't pay? What you mean? Crazy. Wagers is scared. That's your crazy. Your you broke and you ain't got no money. Calling him broke when you can't pay for the food. She's crazy. She crazy. Out. He invited me out and he can't. Crazy. Looking crazy. Yo, what is going on here? Let's check out this other video, second video part two. It gets kind of graphic here. I'm not sure if I can show. The whole thing, but F it. Crazy, y'all. This woman looks like she just got off her security guard shift based on the outfit. <laughs> Grabbing the food, it's a. Is that how it's going out here, fellas? Is that how it's going out here? Let's check out some of these comments for the people I have to say. First comment here says, rule number one, never go anywhere and order anything you aren't prepared to pay for yourself. That's a pretty good rule. That's how you avoid ending up in the situation. Another comment here says, sis came to the dinner dress like Carl Thomas. Who is that? Who the hell is Carl Thomas? I'm looking up a picture right now. I should probably put this up on the screen. I see it. I get the joke. All right, Carl Thomas, everybody. Next comment here says, a chick that has her life together would have paid for her own shit and kept it moving without the extra ranting. Another person here says, I'd never go on a date broke. Anything can happen. Here's another man who added a ninja taking a stud on a date is just wild. And somebody else here added, when you act like a man, you have to pay for your food like one. Here's another comment from another woman that says, this is so embarrassing and ghetto. Uh, somebody, somebody else here says, why would you put your hands on him? That's horrible behavior. I think I can come out with a compilation of these finally. Compilation of men not paying on dates because in a lot of those cases, the dates go really, really bad. Well, first date in Chicago and I got stood up. I still have not heard from this man. We were supposed to meet at 7 p.m dinner he picked the place he picked the time we confirmed it yesterday still have not heard from him i got there at 702 and i waited till 720 i didn't leave till 720 just didn't show just did not show up <laughs> this was my first date of the year y'all is this what chicago dating is like you're just not gonna show up did you get in a car accident are you dead i was really excited to dip my toe back into the dating pool but now i'm like i'm done this was a michelin star restaurant and when i walked in i didn't hear from him i was like oh i'm walking in i'm here <clears throat> no answer i said his name at the receptionist they're like oh we don't have anyone by that name this is not a place you walk into if you don't have a reservation we're not getting a table i should have known i was really excited like i posted a video before this like going on a date tonight oh this is so embarrassing stood up stood up chicago men please do better
You know, it used to be that when you got stood up, you just took the L in silence. You don't want anybody to know about it except your close friends and circle. But now, man, it's content for TikTok. People love sharing their exciting, embarrassing situations. Why did that man stand this woman up? I have no idea. Chicago men, please let us know in the comment section down below what's going on. <laughs> Let's check out some of these comments, see what the people have to say in response to this. His first comment says, he's lost, you're gorgeous. With the heart emojis right there, somebody else added, rule, if you ain't heard from him at all on the day of the date, he ain't coming. She goes on to say he wouldn't go all day without talking and confirming that date. That's a pretty good rule. 68 likes on that comment. Somebody else here added, ugh, terrible. I just saw a TikTok where apparently some restaurants have posed as profiles on date what post as profiles on dating apps too? keep your head up wow so there are restaurants out here posing as men catfishing women to show up at the restaurants because they're struggling in business whoa drink the coffee it'll make you feel better that's kind of it's kind of crazy when you think about it because i think it actually could work let's get another comment here from somebody else who says the dating pool is lava with the fire emoji and the sad face, somebody else says, unless he confirms the day of, there is no day. Again, that seems like a pretty fair rule. Somebody else here added, you dodged a bullet for sure. Sorry you went through all that. Which is followed by this other comment that said, call his wife and ask if he's okay. Might be married, who knows? And the final comment here says, if they don't confirm the day of, or at minimum two hours before there is no date. What's the best advice you have for men and women when it comes on to, you know, finding a partner? First is for women. You gotta know what you want. If you want a CEO, someone who is financially successful, that guy is not gonna be at five o'clock at your house having dinner with you and cooking with the children. So you gotta know if you want a powerful man, a powerful man is busy. Wouldn't she also lose attraction if he's always available to her? Not if you're living in a million dollar home. And that's what people need to understand. Women need to decide what do they want. If they want a provider, if they want to have financial status, if they want to have a good life for their children and money and status is important, then you're going to be with a type of guy that doesn't have quality of a, a quantity of attention, but will have quality. And the best advice you have for men? When it comes to relationships, men need to look for women that they can have purpose with that they can build something with, and not just the pleasure and the fun and the excitement of the moment. Because when there's a lot of money, everybody's like, ha, 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 that's pleasure. But when things get tough, they're not there for you. But if you're with, with a woman who's also committed to your purpose, even when the going gets tough, she'll be there for you. Smartest woman on planet Earth. I wish that every woman would listen to her. She made incredible sense. And man, she made an invaluable point. Women, know what you want. And men, pick a woman who can help you in your purpose. You don't date a woman for looks and beauty and all this other stuff. And then, and then you end up getting a divorce because neither one of y'all on the same page. I shouldn't even say all this. She said enough. Go to the next video. What do you guys think? Of course, I'm always curious. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.